What's up, good people? Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome to Miles from India. All right, so as you all can see, I'm decked out in my Peachtree Road Race shirt. I have my Atlanta Track Club Mizuno hat on. This weekend was the 4th of July, 2020. And because it's 2020, clearly everything about this weekend was just oh so weird. So usually on the 4th of July, I run the Peachtree Road Race, the AJC Peachtree Road Race. So the AJC Peachtree Road Race is the world's largest 10K, which is 6.2 miles through Midtown in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. So before I get into all of that, let me talk about what Independence Day, 4th of July means to me. For me, I never thought about the literal sense of the 4th of July, Independence Day. It just doesn't resonate with me. However, the 4th of July is one of my favorite, favorite holidays. So, but that is because of the Peachtree Road Race and I must see fireworks. It's just something about fireworks on the 4th of July, spinning it with your family, a good cookout, hanging out. But because it's 2020, None of that is going to be happening and I'm honestly still trying to figure out how to process all of those feelings. So the real part that I think about when it comes to the 4th of July is heat, humidity, hills, 59,999 other individuals around me running, walking, living their best life, going down Peachtree Street and busting that left on, yes, the left, my left left on 10th Street to finish the Peachtree Road Race. Now the Peachtree Road Race has been around since 1970 and I have been running it since 2008. Yes, 2008. I've been running the Peachtree Road Race every year. I wanna say I may have missed one year in the midst of that because of work, but other than that, 2008, I started running the Peachtree Road Race and it was my very first race that I've ever ran. So it is a race that's near and dear to my heart. Now, some of the things that I look forward to for the Peachtree Road Race are, I let me back up. I literally call the Peachtree Road Race the a party on the pavement, literally is what I call it. So you have so much crowd support. It's thousands of people that's out supporting you, running up Cardiac Hill, which is like the toughest hill ever and you are able to just see everybody cheering you on. You get food, drinks, alcohol, liquor, all kinds of stuff, jello shots, like. I'm Kroger. I got some cheap red wine. Yes, I mean, da, 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 da. You probably gonna take two of them. I see you got No, you can fly, little man. I got some cheap pumpkin wine. You wanna play with me? Yeah, I got some. Anything you can think of, you will find on the Peachtree Road Race route. So some may ask, how do you get into the Peachtree Road Race, being that it's 60,000 people that run it? So there's a couple different options that you can do. Um, and of course, the Peachtree is a lottery. So being that it is a lottery, you do have to put, you, you can, one of the options is to put your name into the lottery. And you, if you receive um, ability to run the race and they will charge your card for the actual race. Now, the other way is the option that I go through. I am an Atlanta Track Club member, of course, because I'm, I am an ambassador as well, which I'll do another video on my ambassadorships, but I'm also an ambassador. But as an Atlanta Track Club member, you have guaranteed entry into the race. Now, of course, you still have to pay. You still have to a sign up. However, you don't have to worry about your name being picked at all. A lot of people is like, what's the excitement around the Peachtree Road Race? And for me, it's experience and experience, I won't say only, but definitely the experience of running the Peachtree Road Race is the biggest thing. It is like no other race that I have run thus far and it is just really, really fun. Here are some of the medals that I've gotten over the years. You do have to purchase the medal when you do your race day registration, which 
I'm okay with. The experience is totally worth the extra money for the metal, but you do get a t-shirt. People in the community are able to design the Peace Free Road Race t-shirts. So they are able to submit the guidelines for the theme of the race for the year. And um, then we as members in Atlanta and also Atlanta Track Club members are able to submit our choices for the t-shirts and we get that, which is really fun and amazing. And I think it it is one of the biggest traditions and the biggest part of the Peachtree Road Race is the reveal of the t-shirt because you don't get to see it until you're, you finish the race. On May 1st of 2020, Atlanta Track Club announced that the Peachtree Road Race would not take place on July 4th. So with that being said, they rescheduled it to Thanksgiving Day 2020. Talk about disappointment. I was super sad, but then I was like, you know what? There's some good things that could come up, come about it. But of course, because of COVID-19 and the pandemic, there's no way that 60,000 people can congregate together and run a race safely. So of course they have picked Thanksgiving day um, to actually do the race. Whew. What's up good people? Lordy, it is hot. Your girl is sweating already. I walked from the house. into the car. Whew. Let me pump this AC up. What does my car say? Lord, this thing says 90 degrees out here in Atlanta. So it is July 3rd. And that means tomorrow is the 4th of July. And that means on a regular year when it's not Rona and when it's not a Rona, a pandemic, and all of this other stuff going on, I will be preparing for the Peachtree Road Race. But today I am not. Um, because I am an Atlanta Track Club ambassador, I would have been at the expo working, but no, we're not doing any of that. So I am drinking my water, getting hydrated because clearly it's 90 degrees outside and it's gonna be hot tomorrow, but I am going to still get my six point two miles in tomorrow. Regardless of where it is, I will be getting it in. But I'm going to take you all on my journey today. I usually get something new um, for the Peachtree Road Race. Never a new shirt because I want to like wear it and you don't want chafing and all that. So you should never wear something new on a race day. Um, but tomorrow's not necessarily race day, but it's something I'm going to run and I want to feel comfortable. So I'm going to go grab a water pack for Braxton because he has never run over 4.9 miles and he's gonna run with me tomorrow. Um, so a water pack for me, but for Braxton to use tomorrow because he probably won't use it again. And then I'm also going to get um, a new hat. I'm a hat lover. I'll have to show y'all my hat collection. It's kind of um, kind of bad. So yes, I love hats. So I'm gonna get another new hat and we will see. So follow along with me. All right guys, so I am walking up to 10th and Peachtree Street here in Atlanta, Georgia. So the Peachtree Road Race comes down Peachtree Street for about five miles straight down the Peachtree Street, which is one of the main streets in Atlanta. And it makes a left right here so you're coming from this direction all the way down Peachtree Street and you bust this left this is the only turn in the race so of course you see Peachtree oops sorry Peachtree Street here 10th Street here y'all I wanted to come out here because clearly clearly usually there's barricades all around here a lot of people this whole street going up Peachtree Street is usually blocked off um, or getting ready to be blocked off. And as y'all can see, it's no buzz. All right, so the Peachtree Road Race route is right down the walkway from, um, right down the street from one of my favorite running stores. So I'm gonna go grab some goodness. Of course, I'm masked up. what I wanted. 
unfortunately. I was looking for a particular hat and I did not see it. And they only had one waist belt that looked like it was gonna be a lot, way too big. And just the, the where the water bottles sit in, it was not, um, the water bottle wasn't, what am I trying to say, sorry. The water bottle seemed to be loose and I don't want that so that they fall out. So we'll try some else. waist hydration pack and yeah no hat so I think that was just God telling me not to get a hat and that I didn't need any more so of course in my mind I planned on running the route on July 4th because the peach tree is still there I know the route I've been running for since 2008 and it's been a tradition for me every single year it is what I do but some plans changed you know, just after kind of really thinking about how many people like me are going to say, you know what, I want to run the course. Like how many people is it going to be? So if it's thousands of people that live in Atlanta that have the same thought as me, I will be congregating with thousands of people running down Peachtree Street. The roads are not going to be closed and it may not be the safest conditions. So for me, what I decided to do was to go down, take a couple pictures, see how many people were out there. So, Braxton. <laughs> He's gonna uh, run some with me today. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do 6.2. We'll see how far he feels that he wants to or can go. Um, we are driving down to Linux just to get some footage for this. Uh, just to see what the start looks like and if there's a lot of people out there. Uh, I won't be running the course today, uh, but I am going to get my miles in in the city but not on the course. Y'all it's like nobody out here. <laughs> and I'm just getting footage of the <laughs> the course and we drove up Peachtree as y'all saw it's like nobody maybe like 10 people but it's not what people expect positive things that can come out of cancellations or postponement of races and kind of how I thought about it. Once I got over my, I was, I was really kind of sad, frustrated, all of that stuff. Once I got out of that, I said, you know what? There are some positive things that can come out of this time change in regards to the Peachtree Road Race. For me, the Peachtree Road Race is usually one of the hottest races of the year. Here in Atlanta, it's been 90 degrees. So I had to think about it before it took place, I had to think, I said, you know what? With the Peachtree Road Race being in bank on Thanksgiving day, it's going to be cold and in the winter. That means that I potentially could have a faster race and a PR for the Peachtree Road Race because it's cooler temps outside. I'll take a P, I will take a PR. So the other thing is I'm really excited about the gear. So there is going to be winter gear instead of short sleeve gear like this one. This is a shirt that I purchased years ago from, from the expo, but it's going to be winter gear. So it's like a, and then it's like it's a once in a lifetime type experience. Probably it may happen again, but who knows, but it's very unlikely that you'll be able to run Peachtree on Thanksgiving day. So for me, I think on the brighter side of things and a silver lining is something different and I'll be able to participate in it. This is more time to train. So the Peachtree Road Race is basically downhill the first three miles and a good steady climb the last three miles. And so it's one of those things where you really have to think about, 
are you ready? Is your body ready for that? So for me, I, I felt like I was definitely ready for the peach tree, but could I be better? Of course. So I'm gonna take in the fact that I can have a little bit more time to train to be able to have a crushing good time on Thanksgiving and everything works out okay for it to still go on. So that's how I kept my mind positive, but I wanna give you all some tips on how to manage the disappointment of canceling and postponement of races. Literally all of 2020 race season has been canceled. There's some races in the fall and in the fall that have not been canceled as of yet. However, it's kind of likely that some of them may be canceled. So just to help you to think about how to manage that, and this also could go for not even just racing, but anything in life, but just think about it like this. So the first thing I want you to think about is it's okay to be disappointed, sad, angry, upset, um, frustrated, wanting to be rebellious, all of those emotions are okay. So the first thing about it is, you know what, manage that and just be okay with those emotions. I know a lot of people are like, it's don't be mad. And it's like, no, I can be whatever emotion I want to be. However, don't wallow in that. Give yourself a couple days, give maybe a week, do whatever you need to do, but let's put those running shoes on and figure out what's next. Number two, think about where your current fitness is. Are there things that you can be working on during this downtime to be in a better place? For example, for me, it is all about being able to strengthen my glutes and my hamstrings because I have IT band issues. So ensuring that I'm doing more strength training and not just running all the miles. Strength training and running is something that should be paired together and it should not be one with the, without the other. So for me, I am taking this downtime cancellations and postponement of races to really ensure that I am building muscle as well as endurance. Now on the day of the race that may have been canceled or postponed, I definitely recommend doing something fun, kind of getting your mind off of it or doing, or even if it's not getting your mind off on it, doing something fun around that day. So, or on that day. So for me, as you can see, I went down, I met up with some friends, we took some pictures and I went my way to actually do my 6.2 miles. So for me, being able to run those miles, say hello to my friends, obviously masked and social distancing, but that was something that fueled me. I also was able to go downtown to see the course before everything, um, before actual day that it was supposed to be on. And that just allowed me to process kind of how I was feeling in that time. So definitely take the time to do that, process the feelings, as well as do something fun to distract yourself. Or if you want to go ahead and run the race or run the mileage that you would, would have done on that race day, that's good for you as well. Now, I think the way that you can think about it is that this could be a time trial for you. So if you've been training up to the actual race, a time trial basically is you being able to run the distance that you were expected to do to see really where you are. So use it as a good time trial, even though it's not a race. And we all, we know that on race day, usually you're a little faster than you would be on a regular day or just running regular miles because your adrenaline is going and you have people to chase. I'm sure that you are with and around friends and family and just communicate on how you're feeling about it and just really check and see where you are. Make a determination in your mind. Am I I going to still run this race, still train for it, or am I going to step back and um, just kind of refocus and redo my training plan? And I think the way that we can think about this in life as well is sometimes we get thrown curveballs and we have to juggle things around and transition things, and that's okay. My thing is understanding that running is not canceled, racing is what's canceled or postponed, however, running is not canceled. So still get out there, put your shoes on, get the miles in, and do what you can to process through the, this moment. I want you all to tell me if y'all have had any races that were postponed or canceled that you were really looking forward to, and how did you manage it? Drop it down below in the comments. I really wanna hear how you did, or even if there was some kind of event that you were looking forward to. I know for me, I had a vacation scheduled in Peru in May, and I didn't get to go, I had to cancel everything. It was one of my biggest vacations of life and I wasn't able to do it. Dag on Rona, 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 Rona. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Miles from India. To my returning people, welcome back. And to my new people, hello. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. So please definitely drop your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, give me a thumbs up, and also share it with your friends. Thank you so much. You all stay safe. Safety is the biggest thing right now, even though we're all dealing with some stuff. 
Safety is the most important thing. Y'all take care and I'll see y'all next week.